Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So I kept hearing from Stephanie of Bloggers Tell All, my favorite blogging group, that she was like all happy and she would say, just post your pins to your best board. And she had this thing where she's like, okay, I go to my Pinterest, I go to my blah, 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 blah. And I went to those places, but they were the same all the time. And I wasn't good at figuring out um, how my boards related to my pins and which pins would go best. And maybe because she's a food blogger and all, like she might have two or three good boards, but I have you know, realtors and I have Etsy and I have, um, like on the artsy fartsy side, I have journaling, I have arts and crafts, I have essential oils, I have dementia. So I think because my stuff was all kind of different, I was super confused. And I wanted to show you how I can take, um, like three minutes whenever I post a, a pin and then know how to track it and then I'll show you the tracking part of it. So let's get going. So today we're going to be pinning. This is my second pin for my Etsy, eBay, and Shopify. Okay. And I have this in my um, calendar. So I would just go to create and I pull my picture over and I have my um, title and I have my description now you could fix your title you could fix your description I don't honestly change it that much sometimes I do okay and so then I need to go to get my um, URL so this is this is the URL and I already had the the right pin description, but so here it is. There is the e-commerce, eBay, Shopify, and I'm just going to go to this campaign builder. So it's just search on Google or it'll be in the link underneath. GA Dev Tools, AppSpot, campaign URL builder. And I put my URL in here. Okay. And then your campaign source is always going to be Pinterest because you want to know that it's coming like when you make it Pinterest, a bunch of things happen on Google Analytics that take it into that um, Pinterest area. And then my campaign medium. So this is um, this is where it's going. So I'm going to put it to marketing art on my marketing artfully board. And I'm going to, oh, actually, let's put it on my Etsy seller board. So let's see if I have put one on there. So we need Etsy, Etsy marketing. So that's EM. I try to remember to put all of my, um, uh, shortcuts the same. So instead of doing Etsy one time and EM the other time and Etsy marketing one, I just have a little list of where I pin them. And then I believe this is a tall pin. Let's look at it real quick. Nope. It's a medium sized pin. All right. Medium. Perfect. And then this is the campaign name Pin Pintastic 920, and this is for September 2020, and this is just what I named the campaign, okay? And it'll give you this big, long thing, and you don't even care what it looks like, but you're going to come over here, and you're going to put it in here, and I'm going to put it on my Etsy marketing board, and I'm going to hit publish, okay? So, bada-bing! Excellent. So now if anybody saves this or click, if anybody clicks through to my website from here, either on a, um, like a straight pin from my pins, if somebody resaves it and then it goes to their board and goes to somebody else's board, it's going to track all of those from the original board that I put it to. So I'm going to show you how this works. Okay. So remember we said we're, we would go to, um, Okay, let's start at the beginning. So we're going to, I'm just trying to get out of campaign so I can take you the right way. All right, so you're going to go to acquisition, campaigns, all campaigns. All right, so now I have Pintastic, which was when I very first started doing it. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I have the last week, <laughs> maybe the last couple days of 
August, but here I have the very first month that I'm starting in. So this is like the last 10 days of pinning. And you'll see that I have Pinterest repin medium. So this is a repin that did really well. And I wanted to, I like do that for all my repins. I'll show you that at the very end of the video. Um, but with the fresh pin thing that Pinterest is promoting that you need all new pins, I was like, then why should I ever do repins? But come to find out, this one did really good. But this is a marketing artfully video. I'm also testing some Tailwind templates for their new creator. I'll have a post about that soon. It's still in beta. Um, but I wanted to see if those work. And then this is Etsy Marketing Tall. So let's go ahead and click through to there. And oh, I only got one click, but let's see where it went to. So if we type in landing page. Okay, and we can see it was a pin for, and it's just running a little slow because you're here. Usually it doesn't go this slow. Uh, legal designs and SVGs. So I know that one of my tall legal designs and SVGs pins did well. Well, okay. But I thought you might like to see ones that do actually well. So that's my um, marketing. It's business to business. It's not as exciting. There's not as much as you can do. And this is my, um, this is actually my uh, artsy fartsy one, which does a lot better. Um, so let's go back. Let's go back. Because it's, it's, no, well, sometimes you have to like switch out and then come back in to get it to go to the, to the main part of it. So we'll go to all campaigns and then see we have Pintastic. So even that did better. That did better in, you know, a couple of days. Um, and then that was just the last few days. And then this one. So this is the first 10 days of this month. And you can see my video pins are doing very well. So out of my top 10, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are video pins. So what that tells me is that it, and this is in my Google Analytics. So these are actual clicks to my website. This tells me that there is a huge validity to me making video pins. Okay, so now let's see. Um, I don't know if I've done all different video pins, but again, if I come back here and I do landing page, it will, um, so this was to my Alzheimer's and dementia board and it's just one pin. So we can see that one of my pins did really well. All right, let's keep going back because I wanted to show you where there's a bunch of different ones. Okay, if we go to my artsy fartsy tall, there's seven different pins. And let's see if those are different pins. That's my artsy fartsy board, my best of board. And see, it goes to three different ones. So Halloween crafts, bumblebee folio, and Halloween decor. So now we know that artsy fartsy is good for journaling and decor. Right, and this is how I can start to figure out. Here's um, Alzheimer's and dementia. We can start to see which ones do good for that. Okay, let's go back out. Okay, so let's go to Pintastic because that's all of them. And you can see Alzheimer's and dementia did it. Tailwind template is when we were doing um, the uh, doing the uh, test. And this was before I was trying to do it to the board. So this is like I can see the Alzheimer's dementia one. I did have the board um, landing page, but I didn't have the size of the pin because I wanted to start to figure out the size of the pins. Yep. So moving your parents in with you. So that is how you can use Google Analytics and like two seconds to figure it out. Now I did promise you I'd show you the repin. So I use the Tailwind app dashboard and you go to your scheduler and you go to your drafts okay I've already posted this one so I don't need to have it in my drafts I haven't posted those yet I posted this one so I always like to clean them up okay perfect now let's go back to my calendar and we're gonna pull this over 
And now this is where it gets good, right? So here's my thing. I'm just going to change this instead of going to um, Etsy marketing. I'm going to say it went to repin. And all my repins, no matter what boards they get, go to there because first off, it would take forever to um, to try to track the individual ones. And second off, I really just want to know if repins are working and then I can kind of walk that back. There's only so much you can figure out. When I started, I tried to fill in all those different categories and they don't actually show up in your Google Analytics as far as I can tell. So I didn't, you know, I just kind of went with the two big things that I care about, which pin is working and, um, and like which boards are working the best and then what size of pin or is it a video pin, right? Okay. That pulled it in. So now I have this. Uh, I So we already did it to Etsy marketing. We don't want it there. Starting an Etsy business. It's not really about Etsy SEO. And this is where both Pinterest and Tailwind say that you should um, pick your most relevant boards. Like instead of pinning it to 30 boards, um, I could add Marketing Artfully, which is one of my good boards, right? That's my best of board because I do have these kind of pins and then I say use interval and I say start it oh, eight days from now and then it's going to go every eight days after that. If you said optimized it would pick a perfect time but it, I just do these to go out sometime that day or the next open slot or something like that. I let Tailwind kind of take care of that because they're good at it and then if you come down here to my schedule you'll see on the 18th where am I might be going into the next pin it should be here somewhere but it'll go out on the 18th and oh you might have to refresh anyways it'll go out I don't oh there the, there's there it is it actually put it up one day which is fine um it helps keep you from duplicating. They have a lot of things behind the scenes that help you do that. But so now it'll go out to five more boards and I'll be able to track whether it was a repin or whether it was the original copy that I tried to put to the right board. One last thing. Okay. So this is, this drives me nuts. If, and I can't find my boards anymore. <laughs> I don't know where my boards are. All right, let's see. Can we find our boards? Sorry, they just changed this and I don't know how to get to them. I think I had it somewhere. Can I type boards? Okay, there we go. All right, so, so say I have that Etsy pin, right? But it's an Etsy SEO pin. So I have an Etsy board, I have an Etsy SEO board, I have a starting my Etsy thing, I have my marketing artfully board, and all of those could be appropriate to take that first pin. What I want to do as a marketer is try each of those different boards. And I posted my results for that repin in a Facebook group, and the gal there, must have responded to me three times and she's like no you don't put it like the reason that repin did so well was because that's the best board and i'm like dude there are 400 variables to what is the best board and unless you're physically tracking using some kind of analytics like which kind of pins go to which boards it might even be that you know, after I watch this for a while, that tall pins do really well on my Etsy marketing board, but short pins don't. Or video pins do great on my um, artsy fartsy boards, but they don't do good over here. So those are all things that you need to watch. And don't just listen to people who say, put it on your best board, because you may not actually know what your best board is if you haven't tried pinning to a range of different boards. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.